Today is day 40 of 75 hard. If you don't know what 75 hard is, you gotta pay attention to this video. It's an absolute game changer. I'm gonna tell you what my body has gone through through 75 hard, what I've learned through 75 hard, and most importantly, why most people fail 75 hard. So stick around, let's jump in. If you're new to my channel, my name's Austin Rutherford, born and raised in Columbus, Ohio, live in South Florida, flipped and wholesaled hundreds of houses, own almost $15 million in real estate. You can go to theaustinrutherford.com to learn more. So what is 75 hard? A guy by the name of Andy Frisella created this challenge to help better himself, which has then led to a lot of other entrepreneurs taking on this challenge. If you don't know who Andy Frisella is, you definitely need to get to know him. He's an amazing entrepreneur, crushing it in business, and is about as real as it comes. So is 75 hard impossible? No, it's definitely not impossible. Some people out there will tell you it is impossible, but it's not. Is it, is it tough? Absolutely. Is it hard? 100%. Are you gonna have times where you wanna quit? Most definitely, but it is possible. So what do you have to do to accomplish this goal? So it's 75 days of this. First thing you gotta do is you have to have two workouts per day of 45 minutes each, one of them has to be outside. So if you're in the cold areas around winter, it's a lot tougher to do this because you don't wanna go out in the freezing cold, right? But two workouts, 45 minutes each, one has to be outside every single day. You gotta take a picture of yourself every single day. So it sounds easy, but you can't forget, right? You gotta put it in your daily routine to take a picture of yourself so you can see the progress along the entire way. You also need to read 10 pages of a book a day, not, not podcast, not audible, which you can do, but you need to physically read 10 pages every single day as well. You gotta drink one gallon of water a day. I'm drinking these like crazy. If you look at my trash can, it's a whole bunch of these in there, but that's just part of the game. You gotta do it for 75 days straight. There's also, you have to follow a diet of your choice. So you can choose the diet, but you gotta follow the diet and you can't have any cheat meals for 70 five days, two and a half months. Again, this is not the world's most impossible task, but it does 100% take serious discipline to accomplish this. So over the last few years of being an entrepreneur, I've heard about people doing 75 hard often. And I'm like, I don't ever wanna do that. Like, why would I do that? And it's probably in my subconscious, like I don't wanna make myself go through the pain or whatever it is to actually accomplish that goal. And if you really think about it though, that's usually the problem with us as humans. We always try to make excuses for things. We always try to make things fit our box, right? Let's say some people start 75 hard and they're like, well, you know, it's, it's icy out today. You know, I'm just gonna, you know, work out for the second time inside today. I'm not gonna go outside. You didn't complete it. Or, well, you know, it's my friend's birthday. Like it's 21st, I really gotta celebrate. And, you know, I'm just gonna drink this one time though you didn't complete it. Whatever it is, like you failed, right? You gotta be able to get out of all that other stuff, get out of the peer pressure, get out of the self desires, get out of the tiredness, the excuses, and actually follow through and fulfill what you said you were gonna fulfill, which is 75 days of doing the things that you said you were gonna do. When I first posted on Instagram that I was doing 75 hard in like January, early January, I got two really different types of responses. One. People were like, oh, this is gonna be easy for you. Oh, bro, you're gonna crush it. Oh, bro, this is a no brainer. Like, absolutely, I already know you're gonna lock in and do it. The other ones was very negative. It was like, man, like, you don't know how hard this is gonna be. Prepare yourself. Like, I've tried it three times and I failed every single time. Like, this is, this is the next level type stuff. Like, just be ready for it because it's the most difficult thing in the world that you're ever gonna do. And the crazy part with this is, they're both 100% right. If you think that you're gonna fail, or it's the hardest thing in the world, it's gonna be. If you think that it's gonna be easy, you gotta, you gotta have discipline, obviously, but it's gonna be easy, you're gonna succeed. Like for me, like 100%, I'm succeeding at 75 hard, point blank period. When I put my mind to something, it's already a done deal. That's why a lot of people that messaged me was like, bro, we already know you, you're gonna crush it. Cause I'm in, no matter what it takes, I'm in, right? You, got, you can't negotiate how far you're willing to go. Make the decision and commit to it. Like in real estate, it took me 16 months to make my first penny. They said, don't sleep, bet. Wake up early, bet. Go out in the rain, bet. Make 100 phone calls a day, bet. Do marketing every day, bet. Stay broke, bet. Reinvest all your money into marketing, bet. Whatever it was, I was in. I don't even care what it is. If I'm trying to succeed this something, I'm in, I'm doing it. If I get home at midnight on a you know Friday night and I realize that I haven't done my second workout, guess what? I'm not like, oh man, you know I'm tired, I'm not going. I'm in, I'm doing it, right? But the cool thing is, is if you have discipline, you're not gonna get to the, the you know midnight, the day of, where you gotta do your second workout and have not done that second workout. If you have discipline, you already would have scheduled it earlier in the day and you wouldn't be in the predicament in the first place. And to put it even more into perspective, like for me, when I start something, I have to finish it. When I'm watching uh, videos at Netflix with my girl and we pull up like this horrible movie, we start it and it's terrible, 
I have to finish the movie. Like it's just ingrained and wired in me that I have to finish what I start. But I've realized a lot of people aren't like that. A lot of people make up these BS excuses day after day after day after day. And sometimes those people are not the ones that get what they want out of life. Look, it's already done in my mind for me, and it can be for you as well. Time simply just hasn't caught up yet. So I got a question for you right now today, if I asked you, would you complete 75 hard? And you may be already making up all these excuses. Like, well, you know, it seems like a lot, 75 days. Like, I don't really know. What would the answer be? Answer that to yourself in your head right now. Would you complete 75 hard? Some of you are saying yes. Some of you are saying no. But let me, let me put this kicker to it. If you completed 75 hard and I paid you $5 million, would you complete 75 hard? Almost all of you, I can almost guarantee, are going to say yes to that. To make $5 million in 75 days, that's, that's insanity, right? So think about that. You might have been questioning it at first. Can you do it? Well, you know, I don't really know. What if I give you $5 million? Yeah, I'm in. I'm doing it. Think about that. It's the same decision to complete a challenge of 75 days, but you're sitting there negotiating what, what the extent of what you're willing to do is. Like, why do we need to have that negotiation? Why can't we just make the commitment and be all in on something for once in our lives? So how's my experience been so far? I'm on day 40 and it, it's been pretty easy, right? So I get up, I drink a, like five water bottles before 12 o'clock. I'm up at about 5.30. So I drink a ton of water. So drinking a gallon of water is not the end of the world for me by any means. I was already reading, so reading's easy. I was, you know, taking a picture, super simple. Put reminders on your phone, on the mirrors, on the front door, on the back door, like put reminders all over the place to remind yourself to take a picture every single day. Diet, pretty easy. I was already counting my calories, so I just continued doing what I'm already doing, it, eliminating the intake that I have every single day, which will then obviously cut fat as well. Um, not drinking, super easy. I've never been one to go out and drink a ton anyways. Um, I, I might get drunk maybe once a year, um, I'm more of a casual drinker, you know, go out with the friends, you know, get a drink because they're getting a drink, drink half of the drink. So I don't drink that much as is, uh, but it's given me like a reason to not drink. Like I don't enjoy drinking in the first place. So now I'm like, I'm on 75 hard. I can't drink. So people tend to get it. The, the hardest part for me is the time blocking for the two workouts. Having two separate workouts of 45 minutes a piece it takes a big part of your day, right? And it's not hard doing the workouts. It's just making sure that you have the time to get in both workouts every single day for 75 days straight. But the cool thing that's happened with those workouts, like I'll hit the gym you know, every single day and then the second workout, I'll go out for a walk or a jog around the city. And the cool thing is that it's given me 45 minutes extra a day to call the people that I love and speak with them. It's giving me 45 minutes extra a day to listen to podcasts and YouTube videos and motivational things. 45 minutes a day to go out and explore the city. 45 minutes a day, every single day, to have time to myself to think and pray and manifest. I used to never block 45 days for myself with like nothingness. I usually stay pretty busy reading, journaling, manifesting, working out, talking with my girl, eating dinner, whatever it is. But it's like, it's 45 minutes every single day for yourself. So like, even though it's hard to block that time, I enjoy that time and once 75 hard is done, like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna stop that time because I enjoy it. It gives me time for me to get better as an individual. So like I told you at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on why most people fail. And in my opinion, it's very simple. It's discipline. Ed Milet says it very well. When you start something, you negotiate from the beginning how far you're willing to go. Well, you know, what if it takes more than a week? Well, you know, what if it's my friend's birthday? Well, you know, I got this one vacate. Well, you know, it's, it's New Year's. Well, all these excuses that you negotiate at the beginning before you even start. And if you start with a negotiation to your, within yourself, you're already done, you already failed because there will come a time where that negotiation gets too much and you cave, you give in, you quit, you give into the peer pressure, you give into your body's aches and pains, you give into to not, waking up on time to read books and get your first workout in. You give in because you already asked yourself the negotiation. What am I willing to do to get there? So if you're negotiating with yourself, that's lack of discipline, right? Why not just make the decision and say, I'm in. I'm gonna get it no matter what. Whatever stands in my way, I'm in 100%. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. If I gotta wake up early, if I gotta stay up late, if I gotta uh, spend more time doing whatever it is, if I gotta work faster, be more productive, like I'm in. Make the commitment to yourself and follow through on it. And listen, I'm only 40 days in, right? There's 35 more days to go. Who knows if I'm gonna succeed or not? I, I know I'm gonna succeed. I'll be doing a, a completion video when I'm done, 100%. But like, you never know, time will tell. So this is a quick update. 40 days in, here's a before and after. Just in 40 days, and this was actually day 27 when I did this. These are the pictures from one to 27. You can already see the difference. I'm feeling better about how I look, which makes me move differently. It makes me have more confidence within myself. So simply working out and looking better in the mirror is gonna help you just that alone. P.S. 
once this is up after 75 days, you might be seeing some shirtless pics. Just a heads up out there. But comment below, let me know. Comment the word win or lose. Let me know if you think I'm gonna complete 75 hard win or if I'm gonna fail 75 hard and lose. Let me know. While you're down there, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe and notification bell. And as always, appreciate you being here. We'll see you on the next one.